Hi, John. How are you? Bad. My headphones. Thank, thank you for your time. John, what was the difference in the offense in the second half from the first half? What did you guys do better? Um, <clears throat> so we were we were just able to capitalize on what they were giving us. Uh, we basically took shots, trusted in our playmakers, and we, we made plays. That was that was pretty much it. Uh, Sean trusted in us. I told you guys earlier in the week that it was going to start in practice. Uh, him building the chemistry, trusting in us. And he did that in the second half, and we were able to make plays for him. Tyler Donahue. John, thanks for doing this. Um, three touchdown games are very rare um, for receivers in Penn State history. Uh, I'm curious what tonight means for, for your career, uh, for a launching point for your confidence, and um, what did you prove to yourself and what did you prove to Penn State football today? Um, that, that I can make plays when I get the ball in my hands. Uh, that's, that's my goal every time I touch the ball or get an opportunity to touch the ball. It's just uh, make a play. Um, and I was, I was honestly, it, just, it, it was crazy. It felt like uh, I was, my grandma just passed. I was talking to her before the game and she, she, she let me know. She said the opportunity is there, just take it. And that's what I did today. Uh, I got the capital on the opportunities. Christopher Idell. Hey, Jahan, um, talk, to, uh, talk to us about your second touchdown. You caught it with your one hand. Do you practice that a lot during practice, or does Coach Franklin doesn't, doesn't want you to do the one-handed catch a lot? Yeah, so uh, I kind of have to practice that after practice just because the, the coaches prohibit that at practice. Uh, it's two hands every, every, every time you get an opportunity to catch the ball. So I kind of practice that on the side with uh, Parker, Keandre, guys like that. And I got to use uh show I was capable of doing in the game today. Michael Ferrara. John, talk about the fight from for this team, you know, being down in the first half and then coming back the second half. What is the biggest thing that you've learned tonight from yourself and from this team that you're gonna take into the next game against Maryland? Um, that we have a lot of talent on the team. Uh, we have a lot of guys who can make plays, as you saw in the second half. We we had guys stepping up, catching the ball, and just making plays. Um, so I, I know we're, we're always going to fight to the end. Uh, Coach Franklin preaches that. Uh, never give up. Just fight to the end. Give it all you got. And that's what we did tonight. We we didn't back down for anything. We knew we were down in the second half. We knew we had to make make plays, and that's basically what we did in the second half. Rich Garcella. John, this is the first time Penn State's 0-2 in eight years. How do you recover? How do you rebound from this 0 2 start? What, do you, what does somebody like you have to do as one of the team leaders? Uh, come to practice tomorrow, ready to work. Um, we, we, we got practice tomorrow. We fix our corrections from this game. We got to move on. Um, there's no looking back. You only get one opportunity at, at the game. So they come every Saturday. So you, you get that one opportunity. You got to make the most of it. And, and those days in between, you, you just got to work. Uh, you got to come, come to practice every day, put your head down, and just work. That's what we got to do. We got to get back in one column. Tyler Donahue. John, I, I may have misheard you. Did you say your grandmother passed? Yes, yeah. Uh, and you said that was recent? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, just this April. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so th you said you, do you usually have kind of an, inter in a, an internal conversation with her before these games? And, and is she someone that you think of? when you do have those big moments on the field out there and get to the end zone? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I, every, every, every week I bring a little t-shirt, got her on it and I just keep it with me. I talk to her before the game. I have a little conversation with her and she, she just let me know the opportunity was there today and I got to make the most of it. So I'm just, it, it, it's just crazy how God works. Uh, my family just tells me to be patient all the time. And that's what I've been doing. And it's finally paid off. How big was it for Parker to have a have a good game for you guys as well as a receivers group? Uh, it's huge. Uh, kid has so much. He has so much talent. Um, I, I watch him every day at practice, and I'm just amazed by the things he that he, he he's amazing. And I just can't. Today with today it was kind of like a little preview. Uh, you guys got a little preview of what what he can do with the ball in his hands. He can make plays. Um, kids a ball we got we got we got we got some ballers on this team and I'm just I just can't wait they have they have a lot of football left in front of them and I can't wait for them to put themselves 
Nevis Wilborn. Jahan, what goes through your mind when you see that ball up there and you're having to jump together? What, what goes through your mind and like how do you feel once that play actually goes through? Uh, I, I approach that as a million dollars. Uh, it's a million dollars in the air. You you want it, you you go get it. Uh, every time the ball's in the air, it's, it's a chance for you to make a name for yourself, for you to put the team on your back or whatever it is. So I, I think of it every time the ball's in the air, it's a million dollars. and We got to go cash in. That's what I did today. Tyler Donahue. John, I, I hate to get uh, like personal again, but um, can you give us your grandmother's name? Um, just just to, to note, because clearly she means a lot to you, and I, I wanted to kind of pay respect to her with the story we're going to write. Yeah, for sure. Gloria Bigelow, uh, G-L-O-R-I-A, Bigelow, B-I-G-E-L-O-W. If I could just turn attention to back to the game itself, um, Sean's going to take a, a lot of scrutiny this week. There's no doubt about it, especially with what Justin Fields did on the other side of, the, of this game. What what do you see from Sean to, to give you faith that he is the right quarterback for this team and, and the right guy to lead the charge for this offense? Uh, we, it, it was kind of like a preview. Like I said, uh, he, he started trusting us. He started giving us opportunities. And that's all you ask from your quarterback. And, he honestly, in my opinion, he did a fantastic job in the second half, uh, controlling the game, staying in the pocket, and just dishing out dimes. So, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm excited for for Sean. Uh, the the stats may not say any say everything, but I'm excited for him, and I just can't wait to come out and work with him every day because he's one of the best best quarterbacks in the country to me. So I just can't wait to work with a, one of the best quarterbacks in the country every single day. Coach Garcella. Jahan, I'd like to follow up on that question about your grandmother. Did she did she live by you? Um, what did you have a lot like? Did she help raise you? How how close was your relationship? Um, uh, my my relationship with my grandparents was uh, it it still is it's it's so tight. That's why I feel like that's why I feel like I can bring her with me to these games, and she's gonna be right by my side every every single game, and. Um, yeah, my, my relationship with my grandparents is, is really close. They're my second parents, so. New guys, Wilborn. Um, earlier, you were talking about you guys staying engaged. What do you guys have to do? I mean, after, you know, 0-2 loss, plans obviously change. How do you guys continue to, to stay engaged, continue to figure out? Um, We, we just got to realize that there's a lot of football left in the season, and we just got to like Coach Franklin preaches, uh, one and up. We have to we have to go one and up. That's the mentality. We can't look forward. We can't look back. Things in the past, things in the future. We we got to look at what, what's in front of us and living in the moment. Basically, someone talked about that this week. I forget who it was, but they were just saying you can't you can't take uh, this time for granted. Uh, you got to live in the moment. And when it when it's Sunday, you got to be ready for Sunday's practice. Sunday's lift. And it's Tuesday, ready for Tuesday's practice. So we just got to go on that. Going uh, every day with that mentality that we're ready to work. Martha Paye. Jahan, I was kind of asking Sean the same question, but you know, you being a, a veteran on this team, how do you kind of keep your teammates' heads up after two tough losses? You know, for um, you know different but tough losses. Uh, you you just gotta you gotta talk to them um, any way, any way you can. Just uh, bring positivity to them. Um, just talking to them, knowing, tell them that. There's a lot of football left. There's a lot of time to prove yourself. There's a lot of time that we can prove what this team is about, how much talent we have on this team. So uh, just any positivity can help in any way. Michael Ferrara. Javon, talk about, um, you know, you being a leader on this team. And, you know, you used to be a younger guy on this team. If you could share some of your moments, who, who are some wide receivers, you know, throughout your Penn State career who've kind of maybe taught you some things about going about the Penn State way or some advice you've taken through some of the former Penn State guys you played with? Uh, I would say definitely KJ Hammer. Uh, he taught me a lot of a lot of little things uh, about Penn State, about playing, playing uh, in big time games. Uh, I watched him over the past couple of years just make plays. Uh, he was a playmaker. He was just a playmaker. Uh, he made the flashy plays, the simple plays. He, and just watching him being by his side, he taught me how to make plays. And then I would definitely have to credit uh, Jawan Johnson and DeAndre Tompkins, uh, just because my freshman year when I came in here, those guys were first people on the field and the last ones to leave. 
uh, they just instilled that. When you see that every day, it kind of paints a picture in your head. So uh, we, we, we do that now. Every, every day, I want to be one of the first ones to practice, one of the last ones to leave the field. So I, I would definitely credit those guys. Uh, Audrey Snyder. Johan, Sean was saying that the slow starts are one of the biggest things hindering this offense right now. Um, why do you think that is? Is it the new system? Is, is there something you can kind of put your finger on with that? Um, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I have no idea why we keep starting so slow, but we, we, we just got to fix that in practice. Uh, Coach Franklin builds practices uh, so that we start fast. Uh, we, we go competitive right away. Everything competitive, start the uh, start practice. So, we just got to really, we can't take those for granted. We can't take those practice trips for granted because he's doing it on purpose. He knows what he's doing. Uh, so we just got to come to practice and basically capitalize on those opportunities that we get. We have time for two more questions. We're going to go Tyler Donahue and Partha Paye for the final two questions. Jahan, uh, Cam Sullivan Brown was listed as a starter on each of the past couple depth charts. We saw him operate in, in pregame warmup, seemed to be a full participant there, full uniform, but not involved in the game either time. I know there's certain things you can't divulge during these conversations, but can you shed any light on the circumstances in that receiver room with Cam Sullivan Brown? And Regardless of why he's not playing, um, how are you guys handling, you know, kind of keeping him mentally engaged and, I guess, positive uh, because clearly something's happening behind the scenes we're not aware of? Yeah, uh, like I said, any positivity at the end of the day is is, is good. Uh, we just got to keep his head up. We know he's, he's battling something right now. Uh, I can't really speak about, but he's battling something. We, we just got to be by his side. Uh, just know that we're there with him and that. We're, we're ready. Uh, we're ready for when he, he's able to come compete with us. We just can't wait to get our brother back on the field. On a question for Jahan. Jahan, kind of following up on my last question, um, after starting 0-2, how do you kind of recalibrate the team's goals if, if, you need to, if you feel like you need to do that? Uh, we, we, aren't, we don't. We, we, our goal is to come out every week and go 1-0. Uh, we, we just need to start that by tomorrow forgetting about this it's in the past now uh there's nothing you can do about it but just move on and look to look to work and beat maryland uh it, it's it's a one or no mentality that, that will never change every single week uh we got to go one and no and that's the goal for next week john thank you thank you everyone for uh for being here uh for tonight and, and with, uh, with john thank you john thank you